let us solve the problem find the relation between x y and x prime y prime where vector r which is the position vector or radius vector or displacement vector as we said in a previous video this problem is similar to the starting problem let us compare these two lines instead of r we had here vector a here we had i cap j cap here i cap j cap same i prime j cap prime here also i cap prime j cap prime and instead of x we have here ax instead of y we have here ay instead of x prime we have here ax prime and instead of y prime we have here ay prime so actually we already have the result the result for this transformation is given by this relation so instead of ax prime ay prime we shall write x prime y prime and instead of ax and ay we have to write xy and the problem is done first we'll draw the diagram replacing vector a by vector r so this is the x axis and the y axis and the rotated axis are x prime and y prime the amount of rotation is theta here also it is theta and now the vector is instead of vector a it is vector r and this r is equal to x y which is equal to here also we had a x a y which is equal to the primed coordinates so the here the primed coordinates are x prime y prime which we can also write vector r prime so the transformations that we make are instead of ax we will write x instead of ay we will write y instead of ax prime we will write x prime and instead of ay prime we will write y prime so now it is time to write the transformation relations so instead of ax prime and ay prime we have here x prime y prime the rotation matrix is cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta and instead of ax ay we will have just x y so this is the transformation relation and we can expand it and write as x prime equal to x cos theta plus y sin theta and here we will have y prime equal to minus x sin theta plus y cos theta so here the transformation is from x y to x prime y prime very importantly we have a matrix present here and since this matrix affects transformation from x y to x prime y prime it is called transformation matrix let us denote it by capital r so we can write the changes or the change the change of vector component components under 
rotation of coordinate axis is performed by or is affected by the matrix whose components are cos theta, sin theta, minus sin theta, cos theta. And let us denote it by capital R. Now in physics, it is customary to denote operators. This is a matrix and we can multiply another matrix with this matrix. So it is an operator and in physics it is customary to represent operators by putting a cap sign above it. So we can write it in this way. Now don't confuse it with unit vector. So i cap, x cap, y cap etc are unit vectors. R cap is a symbol and this cap denotes that it is an operator, it is a matrix operator. So R cap is cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta which is called transformation matrix. We have to find the properties of this transformation matrix R hat. We will also try to write R cap in a 3D transformation. Obviously, the transformations we discussed were 2D transformations. Because, because as indicated earlier, this represented a transformation from x y to x prime y prime or a transformation from a x a y to a x prime a y prime with respect to z cap axis or in the other two cases we discussed rotation about x cap as well as rotation with respect to y cap. But what will be its form for a general 3D transformation? We will discuss that in later videos. Let us solve a problem. For example, so find x prime y prime if say x equal to 1 and y equal to 0. So x and y are the unprimed frame and x prime y prime are the primed frame and they are related by a rotation of say 60 degrees. So this is one problem and we also have to check scalar invariance. The problem is fairly straightforward. So this is x, this is y this is x prime, this is y prime and the angle of rotation is theta which is 60 degrees and so the rotation matrix that performs transition from x y to x prime y prime is
cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta now since theta is 60 degrees so we have cos 60 sin 60 minus sin 60 and cos 60 and this gives us half root 3 by 2 minus root 3 by 2 and half so the transformation relation is x prime y prime is equal to the rotation matrix which operates upon x y so this is actually equal to half root 3 by 2 minus root 3 by 2 half and that will operate upon x and y the values of which are given to be 1 0 so it is half into 1 so it is half root 3 by 2 into 0 is 0 and again minus root 3 by 2 into 1 so we will have minus root 3 by 2 and half into 0 is 0 so the answer is therefore x prime is equal to half and y prime is minus root 3 by 2 so this is the answer and further we have to check scalar invariance so r is equal to under root x square plus y square this is in the unprimed frame and we have here x is 1 y is 0 so 1 square plus 0 square under root which is obviously 1 and r prime is equal to x prime square y prime square under root so x prime is half plus y prime is minus root 3 by 2 square so this turns out to be 1 fourth plus 3 fourth which is 4 by 4 so it is 1 so we find that r is equal to r prime which speaks of scalar invariance so this is scalar invariance which we have proved in this problem let us do another problem which i have with me let us write the problem first so the question is show that a linear transformation And the linear transformation is given by x prime y prime and the rotation matrix is given by a b c d that operates upon x y and we can write it as so show that the linear transformation that preserves the length of vector is an <coughs> orthogonal transformation also it is given that predict and interpret determinantal value of this operator matrix operator r hat so we'll start to solve this problem first let us find out the condition that is given 
length preservation length conservation or invariance of length is given so length is preserved or conserved or invariant and the square of length is actually in the primed system it is x prime square y prime square under root and in the unprimed frame it will be x square plus y square under root and we are here writing down the square so length preservation means these have to be equal so this is the criteria and we have to find the values of a b c d which are components of the rotation matrix such that this holds mind it for any arbitrary choice of a b c d this will not hold so what are the values of a b c d in order that length is preserved that is this relation holds so this is the problem now let us look at this relation and try to extract the equations from here so from this relation what is the value of x prime the value of x prime is ax plus by and what is the value of y prime the value of y prime is cx plus dy now let us find out x prime square plus y prime square so x prime square plus y prime square is in fact ax plus by whole square plus cx plus dy whole square and this gives us a square plus c square from here multiplied by x square plus let us take care of the cross terms so it will be twice of then a b plus c d a b plus c d and the cross term is x y and another square term b square plus d square into y square so this is what we get now this should be equal to according to length conservation or length invariance it has to be x square plus y square now we'll compare we have got the condition under which these two will be equal for length invariance therefore let me write down a square plus c square is equal to 1 b square plus d square is 1 and plus sorry a b plus c d is equal to 0 so this is the needed condition or required condition for length invariance so we are very near to proving the first part the first part says that this R cap is an orthogonal matrix that we have to show because the transformation is performed by this matrix which will be called orthogonal transformation only if R cap is an orthogonal matrix. Now the condition for a matrix R cap to be orthogonal is that R cap transpose into R cap is equal to unit matrix. Here cap refers to operator or rather matrix operator and T refers to transpose transpose means changing rows to columns and columns to rows so this is the condition which R cap has to satisfy if it is an orthogonal matrix so let us check it R transpose R cap A, B, C, D is R cap and we have to transpose it then again A, B, C, D. So if you take the transpose this column becomes a row 
and this column becomes row BD and now a square plus C square and here we have AB plus CD here we have AB plus CD again and here we have B square plus D square the values of these components can be put from here it is 1 0 0 and 1 so this is a unit matrix this can also be written as R cap inverse R cap can be taken to this side and then we have R cap inverse which is equal to R cap transpose so the same relation either this or that is satisfied which means R cap is an orthogonal matrix now we come to the last part of the problem which says that we have to find the determinantal value of R cap that is we have to find the determinant of R cap we have just now proved that R cap transpose into R cap is a unit matrix now let us take determinant of both sides now this I cap is 1 0 0 1 and its determinant is 1 0 0 1 which is equal to simply 1 so this is 1 and let us use a property of determinant that determinant of the product of two matrices is equal to the product of the determinant of individual matrices in other words determinant of a b is equal to determinant of a into determinant of b so we can write it as determinant of r cap transpose into determinant of r cap which is equal to 1 now determinant of r cap transpose is in fact and determinant of r cap is this is equal to 1 So it is the same thing coming out and therefore we can write AD minus BC whole square equal to 1. Now AD minus BC is actually determinant of R cap. So what we get is determinant of R cap whole square is equal to 1. So determinant of R cap is equal to plus minus 1. Again, this is a property of orthogonal matrix that its determinant is either plus 1 or minus 1. Because R cap is orthogonal matrix, this holds. So, we have predicted the value of the determinant which turns out to be either plus 1 or minus 1 now we have to interpret it so the interpretation so there are two possibilities of orthogonal matrix determinant of r might be plus 1 or determinant of r cap might be minus 1 now let us mention that the consequences this corresponds to rotation and this corresponds to reflection
In other words, our cap is such that it affects a rotation and here the R cap is such that it affects a reflection. So this is called rotation matrix which is an orthogonal matrix having determinant plus one and this one is a reflection matrix whose determinant is minus one. We will show this through examples in a later videos.